It's Halloween. It's Halloween, it's Halloween, the moon is full and bright, and we shall see what can't be seen on any other night. Skeletons and ghosts and ghouls, grinning goblins fighting ghouls, werewolves rising from their tombs, witches on their magic brooms. In masks and gowns we haunt the street, and knock on doors for trick-or-treat. Tonight we are the king and queen, for oh tonight, it's Halloween. Yes, Halloween, so we're going to punch Satan right in the face and ask for candy. Why do werewolves have a tomb? They're not dead. I don't dead. know. It, that's perplexed me since I was a child. That was a reading from Jack Proletsky's It's Halloween with pictures by Marilyn Hempfer. This is a book I got probably when I was born. Not this yeah. actual copy. My brother has that one. But it's a bunch of Halloween poetry, and I've never understood why werewolves have tombs. But it, his it rhymes, I guess. So, uh, wait, what was his name? Jack Pileski. Jack, Jack Proletsky. Proletsky. Yeah, his mom. His mom probably cooks up some fine pierogies. Oh, mm-hmm. I've go- the book I've, is called it's Halloween. I've gone on Twitter and found Jack Polsky. That's probably not the right guy. I don't um, know if Jack Proletsky is on Twitter. A storehouse of information wrapped in a unique package, bundled with emotions and an above-average intellect. So. Who knows? Well, if it was the real one, he'd obviously know that werewolves wouldn't need tombs because they'll live in burrows, maybe. What would werewolves? They just live in houses. They just have little wolf houses. I mean, come on, haven't you guys seen the who is in Teen Wolf again? (laughs) Michael J. Fox. Yeah, haven't you guys seen Teen Wolf, one of the greatest movies never made? You haven't. (laughs) Teen Wolf was no, no. I I watched it. I watched it. I was just thinking it was like Mark Hamill for some reason. Sometimes I confuse those two. I confuse the two sometimes. Okay. (laughs) Hey guys, you see this movie? Of course you didn't. It wasn't made. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking swerved you. (laughs) Did you guys see Nightmare on Elm Street? It wasn't even made. Wes Craven, who is that fucker? I'm craving another episode in the Manga Raiders Happy Hour. Ah, you smooth little bastard. That was smoother than churned butter. Mm -hmm. But it is another episode. It is episode 155. Um, If we were to die now, then that would be on the gravestone of this podcast. Episode 1 to 155. I'd want my last words to be, I agree. Mm-hmm. Mine, would, mine will always just say, well, this seems like a good plan. And then uh, there you go. They'll be immortalized forever. But we will be immortalized because this is on the internet, or, or at least as long as the internet stays up and there's a thing. Right right up until the sun has a giant, you know, uh, solar flare that knocks out all electronics on the planet. We'll be here. Yeah. Right up until Bill Gates decides to have trick. a solar flare once he learns that <laughs> technique. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Teo Ken or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, we are the Manga Race Community Happy Hour. It is the spooky edition of the Happy Hour, so you know there's going to be lots of, a lot of spook, a lot of, a lot of Halloweeny stuff because it should be. If you guys are, if you guys aren't scared already, then um, just you wait because you're gonna, you're gonna get scared. Yeah, it's going to be a spooky dookie. If you are listening to this on the day it comes out, it is October 31st. It's Halloween, you, boys. You would think I'm a fecal filiac for the shit that I'm going to make appear in your pants because of how scared you're going to be. I don't word, even... Is that a word that you learned today and just needed to get it into some kind of conversation? <laughs> <laughs> no. Because that seems the case. Fair enough, fair enough. That's the big word, happy hour word of the day. Uh, my name is... Simon, better known as Vagul. Vagul. Yeah? Sure, there you go. That'll be me for this episode. To my virtual left, you've heard him already. He is the manimal. The manimal. The manimal, because it's already a spooky guess, name that implies spooky. that I'm I'm half beast, half man. You Ooh. guys better be scared. I got a special claw attack and bonus rechargeable battery arm. Battery I got a recharge. I got a. I got a rechargeable battery on my arm. Cause what's scarier than running out of batteries? Wouldn't you be? So then you you're half. You're a third beast, a third man, and a third mechanical. Then. Uh, Surely, but, you could be but, your battery but, powered. 
What is the difference between man and machine? Oh, getting philosophical now. It's in the philosophical hour. It's the happy hour. All you do as a man is grind, grind your way into the workplace, grind your way through every day like a machine. <laughs> and to his virtual left, it is the children of the Corin. It's Corin. Yeah. I think of anything right there. I'm here. And I'm a spooky boy. He's a little spooky boy. Spelled Literally stop scaring me. And rounded out the cast. We've got more than three of us this time. There's the the fatal four. It is Nair Bones. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> yeah, it's me. How you doing? Hey. hey. You, you actually have a name that could work. Nair Bones. But I think I've stolen that from the forum days when you were used to change your name, so... Yeah, can't take the credit for that. But holy cow, I've not been on there in a while. Nope. Uh, my bad. That's uh, the same here. Uh, <laughs> Might need to check up. Hope if anyone is still listening on Manga Radius, uh, you know, forum, the place that we take our name from, and at least I rarely visit. Uh, hope I'm well. there every goddamn day. There you go. Corin's still holding the field. We still me too. It. Me still too. I'm there. I'm um, still there. Penwell's still there. He own, he stage. basically owns the music section at this point. Yeah, he's the mod of the music section. We've got the mod of the well, just general mod because you know he's like. Do you guys? Much. Do you guys want to buy a timeshare in the music section? Contact me and my travel agency. Call one eight six six Wild Deal and get away for less. We uh we still own we can still technically get away with using the name Manga Raiders. Um, so it's okay. It's all good. Speaking of okay and all good, I want to know what you've been up to these last seven days, Manimal. So you need to tell me right you're, now. You're invading your my privacy. You're I don't invading... care. Okay, it, fine. I would I'll, I'll dox you, you on the inter- on air. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. His name's this not week... even Manimal, everyone. No, my name isn't Manimal. It is, in fact, unpronounceable. It is consistent of symbols impossible to decipher in the human language. Because uh, humans are dumb. So this week was pretty normal for me. Doing the same things as ever. Uh, Still playing Body Odor 4. And, you know, it's all right. It's pretty fun. I got like 32 hours in the game right now or something like that. Still trying to get those diamond assault rifles so I can look like a loser. Because if you actually see someone with diamond camo in this game, you're like, wow, you're pretty lame. But... It's fun anyway. Like, again, there's typical Call of Duty nonsense in this game. Like, um, I do dislike all the little stupid things that you can do, like the dogs and the riot shield and stuff like that. Because I like to just go boom, 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 you know? I don't like any any other additional nonsense, but you just kind of put up with it. You're not fat and, uh, the tactics going on. Uh, I don't know. I just I, All I do in Call of Duty is run around and just go boom, 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 you know? But uh, otherwise, I actually, um, we put out like 55 Genesis games the other day, so I finally got Sonic 2 with the manual. I had the manual before, but I lost it a long time ago. So I finally got that again, so that was nice. And you know what? I found that I couldn't be a speedrunner, because if you, you guys have seen those classic compilations like speedrunners raging, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was like, this morning, I was like, I'll time myself playing Sonic 2. And um, that was the most angry I've got in a very long time. Because every time, ta- oh, every time I died, I wanted to smash something. Like I was like this close to just like breaking shit, you know. Because <laughs> when you die over and over again for stupid reasons, but I got to like I got to death egg zone in fifty two minutes, which is probably a pretty standard time for myself. But um, yeah, I'm not. I don't really want to do that again because that was pretty stressful. Cause I got some, I got freaking Bubsy on the Genesis. You guys probably know Bubsy oh, from that God. goddamn yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. PS1 game. Actually, Bubsy on the Genesis, it's pretty fun. This game was made by bastards though, because it's literally intended to be like the un- most unnecessarily hard game. Like you have nine lives in this game because they know you're gonna die like a billion times. You know, because it's poorly designed. Well, because you're made of glass, you have no hit points, and every time you you can literally you can just fall and you turn into a pancake. And the the death animations in this game are so elaborate; like some of them last for like th- like four seconds of you just dying. You know? Are they as good yeah. as the Lion King knockoff game where Simba oh, 
put himself but, when when you died as Simba, he would uh, hang himself. Quite literally, will step up oh into God. a noose and then hang himself. Not quite, but you know, I like the, I still like Bubsy because I found it controls really well. It plays really well. Um, there, it's kind of again, it's like you got to be like it's a game like it's a leap of faith, leap of uh, faith every time because you never know what's gonna happen, but. The more you play the levels, the more you kind of memorize it. I'm like, this is an actual challenge. Like, for once, it's actually like a really hard game, but I actually want to destroy it. Um, I haven't got past level three because this game is frustrating, but it's actually kind of fun because you kind of just like uh, memorize the levels the more you go. So I was like, all right, let's see where I go with this game. It's certainly interesting. I also got Winter Challenge, which I'm pretty sure is one of the games that AVGM played in his Winter Games video. So <laughs> we'll see how that one goes. Because it's weird. I actually haven't like bought Genesis games. I've had a Genesis since I was four years old, but I've just been going on the games I got from my cousin and the other Sonic games that I bought later on. So I figured, why not? And, you know, it's it's been pretty fun. And um, other than that, just working on the new songs, got some hip new tracks like B Squad, which is about you guys. Is it? Are we the B team? B team, go! Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Are, you guys are mentioned in the first verse. <laughs> yeah, I got my B team. Specifically, got... even Nair's dog is mentioned in the first verse. Let me, oh my let me god, say that. that's a good goddamn song. <laughs> Everyone buy that song. Cancel it yeah. at Can, slash Kendall, B, get, get B Squad. It's just a silly little tune. But, wait, um, wait, 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 wait. So if we're mentioned in it, are we name like name dropped? Oh, not by name, but you guys, oh. if, you, if you saw the lyrics, you knew you know it was about you've you. Escaped, you've escaped uh, you, the, you know the royalty you. payments that you could have gave us. Very, yeah, very, yeah. Very smart. Okay. But, um. I also made a music video for uh, um, America Runs on Lies that I put on my channel. You did? So, yeah, check that out. It has footage. Uh, you, you guys are in it. I finally did something with the video. It took me long enough. but yeah. uh, it, was, it was really nice. It was a I, nice little reminder. Well, I made two videos. I made one for a landscape new and, and one that I put on YouTube with America Runs on Lies because that's that's like the fun like single on the album, you know? Well, I guess Miss... Well, Mr. Steak could be is the single, serious, but... It's a serious hit, obviously. That's a uh, yeah, passion but Mr. Piece. Mr. Steak isn't, like, about Kansas. <laughs> no. You know? So if you had to pick one that's... This is the single from the album. It makes sense. Which yeah. one is the serious one? Well, it's obviously Mr. Steak, the one about a man who mistakenly buys napkin rings and goes on to murder the entire world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. By burning them alive. <laughs> but he doesn't he keep murders everyone because he doesn't want them to know about his mistake. <laughs> yeah, that's obviously the uh, title piece that you'd want. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what, a, what a song. But, uh, yeah, so I did that. Still progressing on my next album that doesn't have a name yet, but I'm eight songs in it, so... That's something, at least. Uh, still listening to the shit out of Bandmade. Like, that, like I can't stop listening to my Bandmade mixtape because it's just so freaking good. My dad made the world's first Bandmade pumpkin because, well, I was like, hey, you should make this design. So it was just like the little skull faces on the World Domination album. So probably the, maybe not the first, but definitely uh, maybe the first ever made in Canada. In Canada? That, maybe. Maybe you should. Uh, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it at all. to them. Yeah, be like, hey, Psyche, check out this pumpkin. You got nice legs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that phrase. Please do please. that way. <laughs> <laughs> I no really pulls, like your. No punctuation. I really, I, like this I, really I really think that your snaggle tooth is cute. <laughs> but, um, maybe, oh, maybe not call it that. But yeah, so, anyways, uh, it was a normal week, safe to say. What was her name? Psyche. Psyche, yeah, the vocalist in band made. Probably the best female rock vocalist I've ever heard in my life, no doubt about it. Band made <laughs> vocalist. I just like how you went from probably to no doubt about it <laughs> in the same <laughs> sense. <laughs> Possibly, well, absolutely, no, 100%. No, Psyche, Psyche is probably my favorite female rock vocalist because she's dynamic and passionate and and just packs a punch you know yeah you you bring dynamic back yeah dia is more in my cereal but yeah that's my week 
<laughs> I know. Oh, man. Uh, Corin, how about you? Oh, let's see. So, to boil down, I've been drinking and eating terribly because I bought a giant bag of Halloween candy. I just do. Just for myself. You know, I got some. I got a whole bunch. You can hear. I haven't even, haven't even had Halloween candy yet. I mean, it's just regular fun size candy, but I'm really disappointed that you can't get like candy that's specifically like spooky. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, like, they not, like, they not like, do, like spider spider bites or like yeah. freaking. Did they not do any shit like that? Over there? No. 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 So, well, there's sometimes there's like witch themed things. Like there's like witch like uh, marshmallow chocolates or like like something. You can probably buy like some ghost shaped. Peeps or some shit. Yeah, but you like... can get it's the white chocolate Reese's that are shaped like ghosts. Yeah, you can yeah. get pumpkin. You can, get, you can uh... get that, but like it's not like a a big deal, right? You don't. It's I mostly you Halloween candy. It's candy. always going to be like because yeah, I was because I've been listen. I've been watching some like uh, British live streams, right? Yeah. Of like games, and they're like, oh, we got our candy, and they're breaking out like all kinds of spooky shit that we just don't have. Wait, what? why don't? How has anyone? Has anyone ever live streamed trick or treating? Like, imagine being like a twenty-five-year-old, like, "Hey guys, welcome to my live stream. Today we're gonna go trick or treating and see what kind of candy we get." It's sure like they real have. life trick or treating is like a real life loot box. Okay, but this does bring up an excellent question, Bacon. Mm-hmm. This is another thing I've learned this last couple of weeks: is that in in Britain they have something you refer to as a quality of candy as being fizzy. Fizzy, yeah. What is that? So it's it. Do you know like fizzy drinks? Yeah, they're, drink they they have fizz. They're carbonated. Yeah, like carbonated drinks. You know that sort of taste. It's kind of that. I uh, no. I don't like sherbet as well. Like I think sherbet stuff will tend to because it sort of makes a little fizz in your mouth. You know. I, I guess I just don't see how it translates to candy. Like if you have yourself a dip dab. And you have a little dip dab with some uh, sherbet nope. in there. Nope. A dip dab. Dip dab. Nope. A little dip dab. You never had dip dab. Dip dab's sensational. Uh, sure they are. I'm gonna have to explore this next time I'm in England. Everybody have a dip dab. 2020. Everyone's coming to stay at my house. That's uh, confirmed. Yep. Confirmed. Confirmed for smash. Dip. You can have a dip dab or a, a double. <laughs> dip, dip. <laughs> You're making this shit up. Wait, no, wait. I was lying to you. It, my world has been shaken. It is not called a dib dab. It's called a dip dab. So D I P. You're not D-A-B. making it any better on yourself. Dip dab. So it's not dib dab. I thought it was dib dab. Wow. Or you can have a double dip. Anyway. All right. Yeah, we candies. don't have that. We have lots of sweets, and you can have lots of Halloween stuff. But uh, yeah. So anyway, been eating a bunch of candy and crap. And then uh, I watched, started watching, uh, okay, I'm, The Haunting of Hill House. Ah, yeah, yeah, started yeah. Started watching that. Every time I think in my head, I the first thing I always think is House on Haunted Hill, which I'm yeah. fairly sure is another thing entirely. <laughs> but The Haunting of Hill House is very good so far. It's on Netflix, if you haven't heard about it. Uh, it's really good. It is something that I have just seen everybody talking about. And that's why I started Not watching it. Because I want something spooky to watch, and it it is worth talking about. It's very nice. Is it a movie or series? It's a series. Okay, all right. Yep. I don't know exactly how long it is. I didn't look that far into it. I think I'm a bit late to the game to uh, try and get. Well, it. I'm going to try and push and finish it before because we're recording before Halloween, so I got a couple days, but we'll see. Yeah. And then, uh, well, Red Dead Redemption Two came out, so I've just been doing a lot of that. We did. The internet has imploded. There is it, uh, Red Dead shares everywhere. Is it? it? It's as very good. As you good. Thought. Yes, because it's had a seven-year development cycle. And, like, not the kind of seven-year development cycle where they're like, I guess we're just not who, uh, I don't know. No, it's like, it's been, they've, it's clearly, they use their time well. Mm-hmm. I, I, there's some glitches. I've heard of, and I I did experience one myself where, like, there was characters talking about a horse, and they were, like, petting the horse, but the horse was actually, like, five feet away from where the characters thought the horse was. (laughs) So there's issues. But, like... 
it's not quite on the level of the original. Do you know when the first Red Dead came out and there was that horrifying the glitch where... Came... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it was a glitch where it would spawn birds and animals, but they were actually like human models, but behaving <laughs> like birds. How and the they're terrifying. Thing... If you yeah, ever the... check those out on YouTube, they are horrifying I've seen videos. Some. The <laughs> funny thing about the first Red Dead, though, is of all as glitchy as it was referred to as, I never had a glitch in that game, and I 100%ed it, too. Oh, uh, okay. I think they patched it, which is obviously good, but, you know. I'm sure, but, like, you know, I played it when it first came out and all, so. But, yeah, it's uh, it's very good. And I'm enjoying it a lot, trying to take it a little slow. That's good, that's good. I am getting it. I'm definitely getting Red Dead. I'm just, uh, I'm waiting. Because I didn't play the first one, I don't think I've quite got the same hype that other people have. I, I'm aware it's going to be a great mm -hmm. game. I'm aware it's going to be fantastic, but, you know, I'm happy to wait for a month. Yeah, it, it, it's very, it, yeah, I, it's not like, if you're not, like, really invested in it already, there's no point in, like, really gunning for it, but it, yeah, it's very good. And uh, time-consuming. Twix. Twix. No, Kit Kat. What? Oh, no, sorry. Right, we should probably mention, okay, I have found a map that is, is a shitty map, but it's apparently got the 50 states on it, and which were the most popular Halloween candy of that state. Now, I'm getting some stick in the chat because I couldn't point out immediately on this small map where Kansas was. I know. Okay, it's if you click somewhere. on the map, it's actually a full-size image. And also, you came to this state. You should because at I least know which one it is. If I was to give you a rough you might map, have you Googled lived there. it. Right. If, I can point guys... out London on a map of Britain. I bet if I give you a can't... plain map. Yeah, because it's in the south. That's all you need to know. Kansas is dead a... fucking center. There's one of 50 there. I guarantee dead if I got... fucking center. An We're unlabeled... a rectangle with a nibble out of the corner. So you're Reese's the all... then? No, we're Twix. Oh, okay. Smack right. dab in the middle. No, I, God, I wish we were Reese's. Honestly, you can get rid of the rest of the country besides Alaska and Nebraska. I don't honestly... <laughs> what about Minnesota up there? No, you can get rid of them. That's fine. I would say I'm disappointed. My favorite growing up was it was the favorite best Halloween candy was I don't know what the name was, but it was like a caramel apple sucker, where basically it was just caramel oh, apple like things. crystallized stuff and covered in caramel. And I would get one of a bunch of those. They were must have been super cheap because they were everywhere in my hometown. But you get one of those and you bite into it and you couldn't move your jaw for half an hour. Probably or my parents enjoyed us having them so much. You just get the your mouth fucking sliced to crap because those things just they have those like lined air bubbles uh, that once you get to a certain point they'll just cut your tongue up. Yeah. Or more likely, if you've been eating a bunch of warheads and like sour stuff, you've already had enough acid to burn your mouth for a while anyways. So it's tender in there. Oh yeah. No, those are the best. That's kind of been my week. I'm going to turn it over to Nair and open up some Skittles. Yeah. So, uh, oh, what have you go been ahead. doing there? I was just going to segue even though it had already been segued, so I didn't need to. Um, I've been trying to finish up Spider-Man every now and then, but then new stuff just keeps popping up, be it life experiences or, oh, hey, Castlevania Season 2 is out. Hey. Yeah, like, Spider-Man's easy oh, to beat. fuck it is. I need to watch that. It's it's good. I wish they spent less time with the villains because there's all sorts of like vampire infighting this season, and I just want to see the heroes. Is it appreciably longer than the first it hour and a half of the first season? Ten episodes, I think. Eight, maybe. Okay, it's so not like four. That's nice. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that that's fun. But my early complaint of, boy, this sure is Warren Ellis hating the church again. Yeah, I hate it. That's there was a lot of... cranked up. Yeah, I've heard some of that. Seems to uh, have left a bit of themselves in there, in their writing. Yeah, <laughs> but he's part of that, like, 80s-era British comic writers who had to be contrarian and anti-authority and just 
haven't grown out of that. Believe me, if there was a chance to make fun of Maggie Thatcher in Castlevania, he would have done it. <laughs> you just you wait. Like there's going to be a character, character in season <laughs> three that's just Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> but what's weird is, like, the lore drops to actual Castlevania is focusing an awful lot on the weird PS2 games. <laughs> Like, uh, what is it? Curse of Darkness and Lament of Innocence have both gotten a lot of representation in here, but not, you know, I mean, Symphony of the Night because all the cards there, three because that's what it's based on, but nobody's name dropped Simon yet. You know, we haven't gotten Richter, but I'm, oh, no, Richter wouldn't be around yet, I don't think. What's weird to me is I see a lot of complaints going, Oh, man, this sucks. I just wish it was written like Symphony of Night. And I don't know if it was the last time any one of these guys played Symphony of the Night, but as much as I love the what is a man speech, it's not great. Yeah. I mean, what is that? What is a man? Nothing but a pile of lies? Yeah, something but like that. But enough talk. Have at you. <laughs> <laughs> I do love Symphony of the Night for Death just being like the sassy uncle to Alucard. Yeah. See, I didn't I didn't know what game that was from. I literally just saw the clip the other day in some random video. I didn't know it was from that game. That's the intro to Symphony of the Night. Oh. Unless you're playing the HD re release or whatever they called it. In uh, which case it got changed a bit. How would you change it? It seemed just so iconic. I don't know, man. That's for the a Japanese answer. A little bit? I don't know. I played the PSP remake, and I can't remember if they changed it or not. I think that's when they changed it. It's not significantly different, but it is slightly different. Oh, what do you know? I do remember one of the weird PSP remake things was changing the costs of the items in the shop to scale for inflation. In modern day Japan, yeah. (laughs) Like, things just cost, I want to say, like, you know, 10% more. That's bizarre. (laughs) It was a weird detail, but fun, I guess. That's kind of how I feel playing Red Dead, where it's like, you can buy a hotel room for the night for 25 cents. Here's a thousand bullets for 50. I hope that's accurate, because then we can go back in time and we would have the best time ever. Except oh, your money's it. just going to look like weird and fake. Because it hasn't been invented yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just I'm wait until you see it. Keep it is. Yeah, American Express. Just it's wait until they see... Only in the Wild West. <laughs> just wait until they see the unrippable bill. I'll just say, yo, you need to get on my level. This smells like maple syrup. You guys, you you guys in the old west don't know nothing about no maple syrup smelling unrippable bills. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'll rip, I'll rip your shop apart if you don't take my Canadian dollars, pal. I'll That's rip your, say. I'll rip your sphincter. Oh, please don't. That sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to eat your say. pancreas showing right now. Or is that oh, still coming it, out? Coming out I, soon. I think of fairly odd pancreas every time I see it. Well, but then I want to eat your pancreas isn't even about what I was describing and trend setting in fairly odd pancreas. Obviously, eating someone's pancreas is not trend setting. <laughs> what are you talking about? Donner Party did see, it. Just wait until you see the next freaking season uh, anime all about it. Rubbing yeah, peanut actually... butter, peanut butter all over it. <sighs> Can't believe uh... like, that was like a legitimate thought I had though, and it was all because of what was it, Saren? I think that's what the show was. Yeah, yeah, Saren uh, was the one that set you off. I'm pretty because there, it was that scene where the guy, where the girls, the guys taking a shit and the girls smelling, but it was just in his dream. Yeah, but how how did you get from that to? I wonder if anyone. Well, if there's such an oddity, by there's, if there's yeah, such an oddity like, as the guy taking a shit and the girl smells it, then I figured maybe there would be something on pancreases. I don't yeah, know, man. It's, it's, it's the, the same issue with God, what was the stupid one 
where the guy wakes up and he's having a dream about his weird sister, but it's not a dream. It's just an idea he had or something oh, like that. Oh, the sister's all you need. Where it was, yeah. he was eating her eggs as an omelette. and her Yeah, it's the them. same fucking problem. And it was, yeah, that one was weird. Yeah, see, but that's not, that, when I see something like that, it's like whatever. But when I saw that thing in Sarah and I was, whatever. I was legit. He's eating a 12-year-old some fertilized eggs in that show. That's, that's, that's just like, whatever. that's just typical anime shit. But what, what you I know, saw it's in not Sarah, typical not anime typical shit. What anime I saw in, still. well, I'm pretty, like, unshocked by stuff like that. But what I saw in Saren shocked me. <laughs> I would argue the reverse, but, you know, if someone says, I've just come to expect stuff like that. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose for the tone of the show, it was well, yeah, uh, because a the bit tone of the show you expect that you don't. You know, I didn't expect that just coming out of nowhere and Saren is all. Then of a to sudden. be fair, in Saren, it was played off as it was an embarrassing thing. He wasn't sexually aroused yeah, by definitely. the girl doing that. He well, was very, he, he very also he also had some other fixations that were a little different as oh, well. Did he? Okay, I didn't watch watch the full show. Yeah, He's yeah, a weird cat. This dude was. Well, he he likes some niche things. <laughs> yeah, he had some refined taste. This gentleman did. Like this, this guy, he he ain't no foot man. He's he's a little more obscure. We've gone off track. Good. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> uh, what else did oh. you get up to? Sorry, now. Uh, I also watched Mandy. Oh, how was that? It's slower, and. Not quite as action packed. It, it is definitely more of like an art house revenge movie. It's kind of not a hundred percent what I had pictured, but still, boy, that was different. Good, different. So I've heard it was good and weird, but uh, I'm I'm just interested in to see uh, Nick Cage being a put applying oh, himself. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Was There's this the... A couple scenes where he's real good. Potential spoilers on the film, but is this the one where um he his wife gets abducted by cultists and then he yes. goes on rampage? Okay, yeah, I that's... really want to see that. Okay, because everyone forgets Nick Cage is an honest to god good actor. It's just ninety nine percent of the time he's not applying himself. I want to see that. Uncaged Nick Guys, Cage. I saw Ghost Rider. I know just how good he is. <laughs> God, oh, I keep thinking of Kick Ass and just his weird inflection when he's shouting commands to Hit Girl in the end. Uh... <laughs> Number 24! <laughs> God, he's such a good actor. Just I bananas. Cage. He was in Kick Ass as the Batman, but not Batman. But then it just always made me think, do I want a film where Nick Cage was Batman? Instead oh, of we Christian almost Bale. got him as Superman. That would have been interesting. Oh, if only. If only. I wish he was in the modern day ones. Like, I wish he'd just be... I wish the Justice League was just Nick Cage, like all six of them. He was playing like an Eddie Murphy sort of... <laughs> oh, I'd love to see Nick Cage dressed up as Wonder Woman. <laughs> I came from the Isle of Themyscira. My mother is Hippolyta. <laughs> I'm going to have to tie you up now, this lasso of truth. I was crafted from clay and breathed life from the gods. Oh, hello, Wonder Woman. I hope you don't find out I'm Bruce Wayne. Oh, my God. I, Barry Allen, the Flash, just found out Batman is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Jason Momoa is still Aquaman. Yeah. <laughs> He's very confused. <laughs> well, time to hit on Wonder Woman regardless. He's got to shoot a shot. It doesn't matter. He's got to get himself some Wonder Woman. I mean, fuck it. He could have been the bad guy in that Justice League film for all I care. That dude, I can't remember his name. Shaw, Shaw something? I don't know. A guy who... Oh, fuck go. Who cares about Justice League? Anyway, um. Good week. Yes. Hey. Good week. Good, good week like, last five weeks. Good good three months. Good since Kansas. That's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, anything else that you wanted to throw in before we move along? Uh, No, because most of my stuff is, like, news. Ah, okay, okay. Well, we'll be getting there very soon. Uh, as for me, there's been a bit of a... Uh, 
culture change for myself. I've uh, now migrated onto nights, which is very weird. Because that means, like, take for now, example, I've got to stay up till 7 a.m. in the morning, so I've got another six or seven hours ahead of me, and then wake up at, like, 2, which is strange. Um, but it's it's not too bad. It gives me chances to, to write. This is my theory, anyway, going forward. This is going to give me more chance to watch stuff and, and as I'm killing time throughout nights and to write as well. So I'm just going to start writing at work cause there'll be no work to do in theory, hopefully. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, other than that, what have I been doing? Uh, been watching a lot of wrestling because it's been a crazy seven days in wrestling. Um, the pay-per-view is on right now. The WWE's first ever all-women's pay-per-view, which has been an afterthought and quite horrendous for them. Because they made a big big fuss about it, going, look how good this is, all the women are doing great. And then barely promoted it. They promoted is, in face. Is, uh, is Asuka still there? Uh, yes, she is. Um, she's and she she's is. the only wrestler I care about. You would care about Kairi Sane as well, um, yeah. I would imagine. Because she got bumped up from NXT a while ago, didn't she? Uh, Asuka did, yeah. And she won the first ever Royal Rumble. And everything was going well, and then she lost against Charlotte because you can't look better than Charlotte. And uh, she, uh, yeah, ever since then, she's kind of just not been doing anything. Although she has been on the Mixed Match match Challenge, which is like a thing they do on Facebook Live after SmackDown. And because it's not the main show, it's by far, it's infinitely more entertaining because the wrestlers are just being themselves and just having like a laugh and a joke, which is great. Um, recommend watching that because they're all literally just cutting loose and having fun. Um, yeah, so they've got that. They've got the Saudi Arabia thing, the Crown Jewel, which is oof. That's been a uh, spicy times, hasn't it? All the politics and shit. Um, yeah, because they have a ten-year agreement with Saudi Arabia. Um, obviously, with recent news coming out with Saudi Arabia not being the, uh, at least their government not being very honest and uh, being some naughty boys. Was it obviously uh, nothing against anyone who's just a normal Saudi Arabian? Uh, Arabian? Arabian! A, a, a Saudi irradiated. Yeah, if you're an irradiated yeah. Saudi, we, 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 our hearts go out to you. <laughs> we uh, encourage you to seek medical attention. Um, that's probably the best thing to do. Um, but yeah, certainly the government and uh, those people on those should probably be careful what we say, because I'm sure they're listening to this. Um, you know, got a keen interest in uh, in manga and choose our niche podcast to listen to. But uh, all the accusations flying, America has pressured um, the U.S. The government has pressured WWE to uh, to back out. They were thinking about it potentially, but they're going to hold up and they're going to go through, which is mm, causing issues because John Cena's pulled out, who's scheduled for the event. Daniel Bryan's in the WWE title match, and rumors are that he's pulling out as well. He's refusing to go. Uh, on principle, which is good. I think that's quite nice that they stick to the principles. On top of all this, uh, Roman Reigns, the face of the company, who is supposed to be the face of the company for the next decade or so, has also had, unfortunately, leukemia return, um, which he announced live on the show on Monday Night Raw, which means he's had to vacate the title. And it's pretty crazy just going on like the subreddit is... is um, for it, where people are like, yeah, he could be back by Royal Rumble 2020. And I think these, I, I don't know if it's just optimism or they're fucking deluded and they're not thinking how serious it is. Like, there's a chance that he will never be back again, ever. If not, it's going to be a few years, which is pretty mental because of how they'll have to change their plans up. Um, there was something else that happened and I've totally forgot what it was. Um, but who cares? No one cares about wrestling. You guys don't tune in to, to hear about wrestling. I watch, uh, feel uh, bad for all the people who've kept making fun of Roman Reigns for him trying to get pushed so hard by the company. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm i one of them. Um, I have, <clears throat> like, I think he's a fine wrestler. I think he's okay. As he, He's not terrible in the ring. He's fine. He can have good matches. Um, he can even cut a good promo now and then. Um, he's no, you know, he's no rock. Um, and I think he's been pushed over other people, and that's the main thing, just how he's been forced on people. People don't like their top guy being chose for them. They like to choose it organically. Um, so a lot of people have been sacrificed to make him look strong. Uh, but it sucks for him. Um, you know, I'm sure he's a fine guy. He's a nice dude. I've, I've actually met him very, very briefly, um, and he seemed nice. So 
He's a real, f- he's a real finite element. He's a big dog. And best of luck to him anyway, because, you know, that's, that's fucking shit, because he had it um, when he was young. Uh, hopefully he's caught it early. Obviously he's got a lot more money now, so he's probably got good treatment. So hope he, hope he does come back. Fingers crossed. We're praying here at the happy hour for him, for the big dog. But Fingers why he's not crossed here, for Rey Mysterio. I can keep I can steal his name now, so I'd like everyone to just refer to me as the big dog Vagul. Um just for the entirety of the show. Uh what else have I been doing? There's been some at manga and anime related, but it's escaping me right now, so fuck all that. Uh let's roll on to the news. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. The tricksters. Three Halloween tricksters are we, my sister, my brother and me. We roam through the streets, playing tricks, getting treats. Three Halloween tricksters are we. My sister's a witch, dressed in black. Brother wear bones, front and back. I'm a ghost with no face, in an old pillowcase. Three Halloween tricksters are we. We are scary, as scary can be. My sister, my brother, and me. We frighten each other, we even scare mother. Three Halloween tricksters are we. It's time for the spooky news. Spooky news. Spooky news. This this just it. Skeleton exists. The public is terrified. (laughs) Have you got some spooky news for us? Yeah, I just said my spooky news story. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, well then, who's who's got some news? Um, Brian, I know you were on about some news, so why don't you sock it to us? Yeah, so it already happened, but yesterday, Topeka changed its name to Topekachu. Hey, Topekachu, Kansas. This comes after the time when it changed its name to Google, and Google was momentarily Topeka. <laughs> They're just kind of fun like that, I guess. They need everything they can get. Yeah, because they're Little in bit. Kansas and no one Yeah, I, I sure remember well, that. It, it did get building. them Google uh, Fiber before everyone else, so. Yeah, yeah, hey, you were the one who paid money to come here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, just yeah. wait, we're going to have like our own Pokemon store in Topeka soon. That'd be pretty Ooh, dope maybe. if they did. Your own Pokemon Center thing? That'd be sweet. Ooh, that'd be amazing. I'll make a special uh, trip out there for a Pokemon Center. Uh-huh. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, so I've been going back and forth on whether or not I want to buy Soul Calibur 6 because this keeps seeing all the character customized stuff. <laughs> there are um, some fun customized characters I've seen. There sure are. And then they announced 2B from Near Automata as one of the new DLC characters. And that pretty much clinched it. Yeah. So I'm desperately trying to finish Spider-Man so I can... Play some Soul Calibur. What part of Spider-Man are you on? I am not far, but it's another one of those things where, like, oh, challenge missions are here. Time to ignore the story and do all of those. But the story is good. It is really good, but that's just how I play that game, I guess. I don't know. I guess so. Because, again, when I play games, I'm like, let's beat this shit. I want to beat it get it over and done with right now. I you, saw, get, you I mean you saw how I was playing Rayman. I did. <laughs> that's uh, how I that's how I play every game. Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, well, you know, <laughs> the different strokes for different <laughs> folks. Yeah. <laughs> as they say, as they say. And that's the end of that chapter. What other news is there? <laughs> Please save me. <laughs> well, we have uh, the only thing that I paid attention to really this week, because uh, it just made me laugh, is that you know how they made a live action Death Note over here in the West? Mm hmm. They did. Well, get ready for a live. Oh, they're making Your Name as well, aren't they? Like live action Hollywood remake of like, Your Name. Mm-hmm. There's going to be. A Hollywood live-action film of My Hero Academia. Hell yeah. I'll I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. So the uh, Legendary Entertainment announced on Wednesday 
um, that it's producing a live action film based on My Hero Academia uh, manga. Alex Garcia Guys, and Jay Ashenfelter are overseeing okay. the project. Here's the thing: they already made Sky High. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I feel like you could probably improve it a little bit. What are you talking about? Sky High was a masterpiece. It was one of the best movies ever made. Almost as good as Spy Kids Three. Oh my Shh. God, Spy Kids 3D! What a great, <laughs> great film that was. Yeah. Oh, that was incredible. Um, yeah, so there's going to be a Hollywood live-action My Hero Academia. I think it'll be wonderful, obviously. I mean, again, I'll believe it when I see it. You know, it's, yeah. it's the same thing with all these movies. Like, same with the year name and shit like that. And obviously, none, none of this will be good, but I'll believe I mean, it when I see it. It just depends who's doing it. Because it's not like Hollywood hasn't been just inundated in, you know, superhero films. Or anything. I don't know. I mean, if they can fleece some of the good talent, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I just... All I can think of is if this... If somehow we had a time machine and we could pull Hulk Hogan from the 90s out, or even the 80s, he would just be All Might. Might. That would be the best All Might ever. I I don't know, man. Hulk Hogan's... (laughs) Hulk Hogan's kind of like John Wayne, where he just played Hulk Hogan. Never free a brother! All Might is here. Go beyond. Because <laughs> he's got the 24-inch pythons. He didn't do the Detroit smash, but, you know. <laughs> I'm about to go plus ultra on you. <laughs> <laughs> you can just do the leg drop just to finish someone off. It'd be great. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to think. Who's the biggest, muscliest person you can think of with just boundless enthusiasm? Um, yeah. Well, that's the thing. If people Terry keep Cruz. making fake My Hero Academia posters and it's always got Michael Sarah as Deku. (laughs) (laughs) That's the truest shit. I've seen about five of these different ones and it's always Michael Sarah. It's always The Rock is All Might and like oh fucking is it (laughs) Emily Blunt? No. Emily Stone. Emma Stone Stone as Uchako. The Rock (laughs) The Rock is All Might would be pretty, pretty 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 okay. I mean, I'd love to see that just for him, just The Rock being in the All Might wig. Like, if they could possibly oh, yeah. just give him that, <laughs> would be amazing. Yeah, because <coughs> it looks God. disturbing enough when you see uh, when you see the live action posters that people have made. <laughs> the one that oh, but then we could have a really like scrawny little CGI Rock, just oh, like uh, yeah. Chris Evans in the First Avenger. Yeah. <laughs> even better. What I like is on the posters that I've seen, is when they've had Eda, instead of like trying to get someone in his suit, they've just put a person in a suit of armor like a medieval knight. They've not even tried. Um, I'm still trying to figure out who they've got as Todoroki, but I don't know. Um, okay, so the obvious question is, who plays Mineta? Um... Is he the little one with the weird balls? The little creep, yeah. 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 Um Oh, what's his name? If you could get Jonah Hill back to a super bad phases, I'd I'd maybe include him. <laughs> oh no. I'm just trying you know what? I'm just gonna go on a limb and say Tom Cruise. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. Get him in his acting role. Oh, Kevin Spacey. Boy. No, yeah. these aren't desperately dated. But like, who's gonna play Principal Hamster? Wait, what about Frog Girl? Uh, Ooh. Frog Girl. They'll make her. She'll probably be because they'll diversify the cast a little bit. So she'd probably be the one who's like a Latino or something. You know, they'd make her a bit different and stand out. Okay, out we keep thinking of like actors who are actually in their thirties when what. We- I know they're gonna do is it's just reuse the actors. fucking Stranger Things kids again. Wait, isn't wouldn't wouldn't like Tom Holland be like Deku then? Say like Tom Holland would be good for somebody. Yeah, yeah. You just need actually young actors, I think, if you're gonna have high school, because otherwise it's just gonna get weird. Like yeah, the Tom kid Holland... with the gap in his teeth from Stranger Things is probably That's a Mineta. decent like Mineta. <laughs> it would be great actually. He's got the lisp and everything, so it's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, I, I really hope this doesn't happen. 
<laughs> it'll happen. It'll be low budget. It will probably be... Because uh, I'm... I don't envy them for trying to... Because particularly the manga, it's quite a slow... It's not like Bleach. Like, the Bleach live action film that they did for Netflix, like, they did the first sort of, you know, 40 chapters or the first 20 episodes or whatever. Mm. And that sort of is it's not a nice self-contained story. But for... <laughs> My hero, it'd be a bit weird because it is a very slow burn for the first few chapters. So yeah, that's very much a serialized story. Mm. It'd like, be weird. There's no satisfying conclusion to an arc until all my like, and all for one. Yeah, or maybe even the end of the training. I, oh, yeah, even the end of season one was like for a movie. You just mm-hmm. got meh. Hey, the yeah. solution to this story is All Might fixes it. <laughs> See, that's why we need Hulk Hogan, because he'd just be there. Oh, if only we could recast it with wrestlers, because we could get Ric Flair in there as the principal. Um, you know, Randy Savage could get in there. I know he's dead, but, you know, I'd like to see him in there. Maybe we just need a low-budget one. Or, if you can't get Hulk Hogan, I'd get Terry Crews now as All Might. If you can't get The Rock, because Rock, Rock might be a bit bad. too expensive. That's Terry, not bad. Terry Crews has got the happy upbeatness as well. I so mean, who plays scrawny Terry Crews? Uh, Chris Rock. That's also not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Call me up, legendary. I'll, get, I'll, I'll, I'll be in charge of casting. We'll we'll get this mess figured out. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's something that'll be obviously interesting to see. Speaking of the movie, I've uh, I've managed to get tickets for the uh, the dub version of the of Two Heroes when it comes out because it's <laughs> it's in my town for one day for one showing and I just happened to be off so I was like I'm going for it, going for the gold. Me and those five other people who've uh, signed up are going to be having a really good show. I, I mean, it's just because I've never um, never seen an anime movie in the theater, so I thought. It'd you got to do it. Got to take it off the bucket list. Stop. So You're going to make me bitter again. You're going to make me really mad again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to bring no, back no past scars. If there's a Love Life movie coming out, I will scour it. The Love Life Sunshine movie will be coming out at some point. I will make sure that I go and watch it just just to be there. Just to send that picture of me being there and going mad. Where they go, where they go to, 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 to Rome. Technically, it's the KR movie. But moving on, uh, that's all I've got to say about that. And that's all the news that I kept up with, because, you know, I've done a terrible job. What about you guys? Have you There's a bit news? of a news story that came out recently. You guys might have saw it. Go on. Vacant does a terrible job at keeping up with the news. Hey. I I did see. I'm trying to find it. Uh, da, da, da. I wish I knew his name. But we lost another JoJo actor. No. Oh. The original voice of Dio. Not the original. That was my favorite. No, rest yeah, but, in peace. yeah, but we don't know what already, his name is. But we already um, lost the new one. Dio, so all's gone. Friggin <clears throat> I do have kind of a fun piece of news that's not uh, sad. Suck it to us. Um, the dub voice for Goblin Slayer is the guy who did all the motion capture and, like, grunting noises for Doom Slayer in Doom. <laughs> so that is, that's good casting. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I can't but Of course the, of course the dub in Goblin Slayer. I was going to say that's a quick turnaround, but yeah, it's... Normally, Funimation will pick up a couple and do that. No, so, that's cool. Okay, what? that's. I liked uh, my favorite news story. Has to be the one. Has, has anyone seen the, uh, the? I'm surely it's made its way to the states by now. But um, there was unfortunately in the good old town of Blackpool, um, there was a robbery. Someone was caught shoplifting beer. Um, so the Blackpool police posted the CCTV image of the man. Um, unfortunately for them. He bears a resemblance to uh, David Schwimmer, so everyone just inundated. <laughs> like literally, I'll I'll post it now so you can see the picture at the guard. Well, I'll I'll post the link to it. But the dude, if you click on it, he looks 
He looks so much like him. So their Twitter, where it's like, can anyone identify this man? <laughs> We're just inundated by friends quotes and everything. So to the point where they just went, we can confirm that David Schwimmer was indeed in New York at the time. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then um, David Schwimmer, to his credit, like a couple of days after... He posted a response saying, uh, I was definitely not in the area at the time. And he's like recreated the photo, which is really funny. So um, it was definitely my favorite just going through them comments and just thinking, oh, you poor bastards. But I can see what they mean. He kind of looks like him and he also looks like the burglar from Home Alone 3. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're the only one who watched Home Alone 3. Or at least you're the only one who hasn't scrubbed it from their memories. <laughs> Man, I really liked that movie. I don't Ow. like that it reset the lore yeah i i mean obviously you know don't get me wrong <laughs> home alone one and two are up here home alone three is down here but it's not terror it's not home alone four and it's it's an enjoyable movie to but watch but obviously is it better it. is it better than the next karate kid the next probably karate yeah kid. Like, Home There's Alone 3 karate. was kind of the season of the witch for that franchise, where they tried to bring in a new group, but... I love Season of the Witch, though. It terrified me as a child. Yeah, they tried to... He was a new kid, hated him. He was he was Anakin Skywalker from Phantom Menace, so maybe that was where my uh, oh. bad blood derives from. In Home Alone 3? Yeah. Really? That little kid. That little shit. Defended his house. Yeah, the right little bowl cut. So he only did like two movies? Yeah. Poor dude. I mean, they were good ones, to be fair. They must have set him up financially for life. Home Alone 3. Home Alone and Star Wars franchises are not bad films to be Didn't in. Didn't he go to prison? Yeah. He oh, yeah his life a little bit. went straight downhill. He was supposed to bring balance to, uh, to his life. Instead, he destroyed it. It's not good. That's a terrible joke. I'm sure he'll be okay. I'm sure he's fine. He's, yeah, it was uh, a terrible joke. Spend the, spend the next episode. Spend the rest of this episode thinking about it. And it's not even like his fault. He was just a child. It wasn't Jake Lloyd, was it? I know what the fuck his name is. Little well, kid. That's the... He was in Jingle All the Way, Star Wars. Man, I hated that. I movie. was in Jingle All the Way. You haven't just said that you hated her. her... I he was sure not in Home Alone. You're, thinking of, you're, you're fucked. You got this all wrong. He is in Home Alone 3. I'm sure he is. He is He is not in Home Alone 3. Who am get I your, of? Get I your facts know. straight. You're thinking of like some other kid who no one knows. Look, yeah, blonde did, child with a bowl cut is anyone. I had a stroke. <laughs> What's going on? You were just wrong. You just not saw a kid, a kid okay, with a bowl see cut them, and you got it fucked. All the way See up. them side by side, and those little fuckers look exactly the same. <laughs> Are you even kidding? I mean, their kids. Their kids really humans. They look nothing alike. They just I had a blondish bowl cut. Alex D. Linz, his name is. Okay, I'm going to fucking fire up Photoshop and put a side-by-side -side comparison of these little pricks. <laughs> and you will, you will agree with me that they are kind of similar. What really... Alex Linz twisted yeah. my tatas was all of the Home Alone sequels that followed up after three that were like direct to DVD. Oh, they didn't even four. try to make Kevin or any of the other celebrities look like their former selves. Mm -mm. Like they got that dude from Third Rock from the Sun to be the new Marv. <laughs> you can't yeah. you can't replace them. Just why try? Why try? Oh he's such a smug little prick. I've got to close the tab on him. Alex D. Linz. I'm sure he's a lovely guy, but as a little kid, no thank you. He's a, he's a little smug grin, thinking just because he's four, are four burglars that he's okay. I feel like it's yeah, just the exact opposite story with Jake Lloyd. His his life just went to shit. He's a little smug bastard as well. His last credit as like an actor children. was Star Wars Racer Revenge in 2002. There you go. Well... You, when you've got drugs to do, you ain't got time to act, have you? So, you know, you've got to make <laughs> one choice or the other. Yes. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's probably doing better nowadays. I hope. Any time I hear that. His photo, last oh, IMDb oh. photo does not look good. Yeah, the mugshot one doesn't do him justice. I'm sure, I hope. Hopefully. It looks better in the mugshot than he does in his IMDb photo. Oh, okay. He's got like this weird chin bone thing going on. Literally, look at his IMDb photo. 
He's got like this extra whole thing going around his mouth. Just young Anakin Skywalker in some seedy bar over in Vietnam playing Russian roulette. Oh, okay. <laughs> the guy hands him a revolver and he goes, try spinning. That's a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but uh, whenever someone says the pod racing one is just that prequel meme of just, my goodness, you've grown. Now this is pod racing. Prequel meme, shout out. I uh, spend many an hour on that. That's always good. Maybe that's what we can do for the 12 days of Christmas episode because no one wants to talk about Star Wars now. So we'll just go on prequel cool memes for an hour. Yeah. And peruse that. Oh, he um, has schizophrenia. Ah. He was arrested okay. in 2015 and has since been moved to a psychiatric facility. Now I feel slightly bad for uh, mocking this, this lad. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. I hate all of you with schizophrenia. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just joking. Our um, hearts go out to uh, Jake Lloyd. Well, on the uh, the silver lining is at least he's obviously been diagnosed and he uh, can hopefully receive some help for that now. Hopefully, so, you know. Rest in peace. Uh, not rest in peace because he's, he's not dead. He's not what's, dead. What's the word? <laughs> well, uh, may the force be with you. I think is the correct result. Although may he might take that the wrong way. I mean, you hope he's doing well, but there's still that Macaulay Culkin possibility of his parents took all the money. Oh. Or no, that... Think... No, never mind. No, never well... mind. Let's no I don't think he had that particular problem. <laughs> anyway, are we going to transition on? <coughs> we Please. are going to transition on to uh, to the fall season of anime. All right, I'm going to read a transition poem. Ooh. Pumpkin. We bought a fat orange pumpkin, the plumpest sort they sell. We neatly scooped the inside out and only left the shell. We carved a funny, funny face of shilly shape and size, a pointy nose, a jagged mouth, and two enormous eyes. We set it in a window and we put a candle in, then lit it up for all to see our jack-o'-lantern grin. First band-made pumpkin in Canada. Oh yeah, you made a band-made pumpkin. Yeah. We need to get a you photo of that. You should tweet that to her. Yeah, yeah but well, maybe I will. I'll tweet, it, I like I'll tweet it, like... it to Psyche and Misa. Not the other members. They can go fuck themselves. Fuck yeah, you. sorry. Sorry, Miku. Fuck you, bitches. You little Japanese pricks. Sorry, um, Konami. Yeah, Who's... Konami. More like Konami out my Twitter. Konami. I Konami can't. Konami can't live. On this dick. Anyway, let's move on because this is just word salad. I'm distracted because an injustice has happened before my eyes, and I'm a bit annoyed. What's that? Do you know jingle all the way because we're on IMDb? Sure. Guess what the rating is on there? I'm guessing it's very low. It's five point five. Yeah. Tragically underrated. Good. Tragically <laughs> underrated. Have you ever? <laughs> Have you ever heard the tragedy? Of nothing but trouble. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but trouble is a movie from the nineties, and the last podcast on the left guys who have a gigantic following tried to make its rating go up on like Metacritic or some shit, right? Because it had like yeah, a four. It was like, at eleven. Much... It's down to six, I think. Yeah, they were like, "It's really good. You can go watch it." And more people watched it, and they all realized it was bad. So the rating got much worse. Well, considering we don't have a massive following, maybe we could have the opposite effect. So I want to start a campaign right now, guys. Go on to IMDb and rate Jingle all the way. 10 out of 10, because it is definitely a because, class Because film. of Put the Cookie Down, that's the only reason. <clears throat> put that cookie down! Now! Oh, it's just great. Everything is so cool. Name 10 right. lines in cinema that are better. You can't, so we're moving on. <laughs> The best thing, Jamie. I can't meet a person called Jamie without shouting it like on a sword, <laughs> which is kind of weird if you meet them for the first time. But you know, they get over it. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, full season anime, jingle all the way. Certainly coming out. The anime remake, it's great. Can't believe that Japan managed to fly Arnold Schwarzenegger over just so he could do the lines. Speaks perfect Japanese. Who would have known? Jamie Desu. That was my Japanese Arnold impression. But let's talk about actual shows instead. I, I didn't watch anything this week. Oh, no. 
I yeah. didn't watch anything this week. Well, <laughs> am I the only one who watched anything this week? Nah, did you watch it? This week? I watched New Castlevania. Hey! I... Oh no, wait, we talked about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not caught up on new things, but I've still been watching at least uh, JoJo 5, Gabo Slayer, and Skridman. 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 They're all new. They're new stuff. That counts. That counts. Yeah. But he's not up to date, I think, is the thing. Yeah. Ah, okay. <clears throat> I'm on, like, Orange. episode two or three for each of those. Yeah. I mean, not far behind then. There's only, like, is it four? Most are only in, like, four and now. I think they're mostly on four right there. Between Gridman and JoJo, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Corin, take it away. What have you been, uh, what have you been perusing? Uh, Honda-san's still funny. They had, I don't know who he was, but they had some, like, big French, like, manga personality come on as, the as himself. Panther. No, but they got the actual dude to do his own thing, and it was they. It was fun. I like Hana Sun. He, uh, he's quickly becoming the most obscure Western references, like that one. Like it had Swedish people and all sorts in there. So, I mean, he, he worked in a bookstore in like Tokyo. He well, he saw all sorts. I guess. And, and I like how they. It wasn't this episode, but like last episode, they did a cutaway at the end where it's like him talking to his actual editor as himself, and it's like, oh, he's still a skeleton good. <laughs> so when the lore of the show, the Honda-san that is a skeleton became the real Honda-san moving forward in life. Ah. Uh... And I, I don't know if he's voicing himself. I haven't looked that up. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Yeah, <clears throat> that's... that's good. Uh, no Attack and Titan this week. Then uh, Golden Kamui continues to be weird this season. But, like, uh, what happened? Like, they're all kind of all together now in a weird way. Like, a bunch of the uh, warring fashions. The army's still doing their own thing, but old samurai dude and uh, Sugimoto and them are kind of joined forces for a while. So that's neat. And then uh, JoJo, I just got to shout out that uh, Black Sabbath's design is really good. He's got like a cape and a poofy Renaissance hat. I don't know what they're called. Renaissance hats. I get what you mean. Yeah, he's got like a big poofy Renaissance hat. It's because it's in Florence, you know, Italian. Yeah. So yeah, Black Sabbath was real good, although I keep forgetting what they called it because you can't say Black Sabbath. I mean, they say it in Japanese, but like... They can't like subtitle it. God as Black Sabbath. Damn it's like dark. Zipper it's like man. Shadow Sabbath or something. <laughs> Nothing's ever gonna be worse company that I can think of. I mean, no, no. Part seven is when we're gonna get some some bad ones. <laughs> like Limp Biscuit as what is it? Soggy pancakes? Oh God. <laughs> or. Oh, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap is either going to be D4C and nobody knows what it stands for as they scream, Dirty Deeds! <laughs> or it's either like disgusting acts at a reasonable price. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still, in three it was what? Ice Ice Baby was chilled or something like that? Yeah. So yeah, Joe, no, that was, was vanilla fun. ice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it? just vanilla ice, I guess. Cool ice. Cool ice. So, uh, yeah, JoJo is good. Um, Soggy uh, pancakes, I'm still laughing at that. Skridman's real good. I don't know what the fuck's happening, but... Skridman. Uh, Skrid- everyone's decided it's hissing sound, Gridman. Neon Genesis Junior High. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, there's a bunch of people who are, like, clearly adults, but then they're, like, they're in middle school. One of them's, like, eight foot tall and jacked. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you've seen Bleach. Chad was eight foot tall and jacked. Yeah, but the high schoolers just look like normal anime high schoolers, while these are middle schoolers all look like they're 40. 
<laughs> I am Maybe 40. it's just a a scary movie uh, remake something, you know. <laughs> Close to Hollywood than we thought. Anime. Close to Hollywood. And then uh, still watching Double Decker, which I don't know what the fuck happened this episode. I really don't. Because, <clears throat> like, it was an episode of, like, cops to begin with, and that was a thing. And then they dropped that because, like, oh, the dude's like, oh, I found my sister. And they're like, well, don't worry. We'll find your sister. And then she just, like, shows up working in a bar of one of their friends. And she's like, okay, I'm here. And then 30 seconds is the dude goes to the bathroom. He's taking a piss. He looks over. There's his sister taking a piss at the girl next to him. And she's like, by the way, I'm not actually who you think of him. I'm a different first name slash your last name. But she acted like she's still his sister. He's still – I don't know what's going on. A sister saw I was going to say, like, it was literally like she, I don't know if it's a she or he at this point. I'm just going to say she because that's how everyone's still referring. Looked over, and she's like, she's like, I'm not actually your sister, Millie. My name is Valerie. What? And then it ended. I'm so confused. Oh, it was a classic cliffhanger. There Valerie being paid on salary. Who has a dick, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is just a translation. <laughs> I was going to say, that was the start of uh, Manimal's next next album song. Um, but Valerie it with... on salary, but she has a dick. dick. No <laughs> tricks. <laughs> if you can make that work, that'd be brilliant. Valerie gets paid on sale. Well, I mean, I just I have an upcoming I have an upcoming song about the Spanish American War and Django Fett, so I can pretty much do anything. If you could do right, your whole song needs to be woman's name, what it rhymes with, <laughs> and then she has a cock at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, as a dick. Her but name yeah. was Claire. <laughs> and a pretty girl looking fair, like this, but she has yeah. a dick. It's Sally, and she's as pretty as a valley. I mean, it shouldn't be, but she has a dick. It should be, and she has a dick. I feel like that's funnier no, for some reason. Could... Oh, yeah, and she has a dick, yeah. yeah like, you're not like, because you're not like, oh, it's like a thing. It's more like, and you're just listing more traits. Sally. Like a Sally in the Flower Valley, she has a dick. It's no trick. But anyway, that's the anime I've watched. The animes! I, yeah, I kind of fucked up. But I, I'm still getting my pan and schedule and all that sort of arranged. So I've not given up on any animes, which is good. I still very much want to watch. Uh, the I'm definitely going to watch more of Bunny Girl. I just didn't this week. You should watch. Is that any good? I like it a lot. It's actually really good because it's like a good like light novel feel with a, with a good characters, a good protagonist that has a ball sack. And just like a generally kind of good vibe and dynamic between the characters and a bromance that builds in the first like two episodes. That's so the like, second verse of the song. And she has a ball sack. And the zombie idol show <laughs> are both yes. kind of waiting for the end of the season and then maybe I'll okay. binge watch them someday. Well, yeah, definitely watch. Well, I don't know if you'll like Bunny Girl, but it's my kind of show. What's Zombieland that? Saga, um, I watched the first two episodes, and I very much enjoyed it, so I, I think you should... I don't know if it's going to keep it up, it's very much like Chio School Road, where you were like, don't know if they can keep these jokes going, but... And, and they, you know, hope because I have, se- I have seen the joke a few times of, oh man, my Tamagotchi is definitely dead by now. <laughs> oh, that's the, but that's the biker girl, yeah, that's her, her shtick. Yeah. And she wants to take over the world, like her fingers, yeah, let's take over the world as an idol group. How does that make sense? Don't know. It doesn't. Matamagotchi's dead. Yeah, but that's uh, like what all idols say. We'll take on the world and we'll do this and we'll do that. Yeah, but there's a difference between taking on the world and taking over the world. Yeah. It's a key phrasing yeah. difference there, but they're very She's different like end goals. dead biker girl um, who actually, yeah, she wants to rule it. Well, the thing, the thing you guys don't know is I'm already in control of the world. You just happen to live in it. Oh, and okay. We aren't getting paid more for this. Jesus, man. Well, what are you doing with your omnipotent power, even? You guys, I don't know if I'm going to pay you more. You, uh, you, uh, I don't know. You don't pay us at all. Well, yeah. that's part <laughs> of the problem. Depends on uh, a couple things. I'm not sucking your dick. We've been over no. this multiple times. I said you, no, and I mean you just, it. You just got to listen to every one of my albums in order. <laughs> 
Right, I'm going to keep working for free. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I guess, uh, and you said oh. you didn't watch anything vacant, so. I did not. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to move on. Um, well, are we going to play time. a game? We're going to play a play spooky game. game. First, yeah, we're going right, to have a guys. spooky poem. Okay. Ooh. Let's hear that poem. Haunted House. This is a long one. By long, I mean it's like 35 seconds. There is a house upon the hilltop. We will not go inside, for that is where the witches live, where ghosts and goblins hide. Tonight they have their party. All the lights are burning bright. But oh, we will not go inside the haunted house tonight. The demon there whirling and the spirits swirl about. They sing their songs to Halloween. Come join the fun, they shout. But we do not want to go there, so we run with all our might. And oh, we will not go inside the haunted house tonight. It's time for a game. You guys open the board game. Now it's time to read the rules. Yeah, this is a game. I don't know how hard this is going to be or how great it's going to be. I... But it's going to be a game, and whoever loses does a Halloween hoedown. Hey, Halloween Woo-hoo. hoedown! Woo 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 woo! Because we've not done them in ages, and we all love a bloody good hoedown. I think I've got the music knocking around somewhere still. Uh, so the rules are very simple. It is a word association type game. I have got a list of horror movies. Um, but I have slightly changed the titles of them. Um, I was going to go with opposites, but that's too complicated. So, Is this sort of like the thesaurus game? Yes, very okay. much. So, for example, I'm going to give you a altered title of a uh, of a horror movie, and you just need to buzz in, and you haven't got buzzers, but whatever. You just need to chime in and tell us the correct answer. So, for example, if I was to say... The Lodge in the Forest, you would say... Cabin in the Woods. Yeah! But after the lodge. first I, I would go, wah! Because that's that your, my uh, horn noise. You've got to make your own horn noises, okay? So you're wah! Like, wah! 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 Okay, it's a warrior noise. My, okay. my, my horn I'm noise... My horn noise is... Coconut! What? Okay. Coconut! If you can replicate that each time you need to, that's fine. Coca-lack. And my, my mind shall be Mario, like Luigi's Mansion. Oh, yeah. Coca-lack. Mario. Where? Like how it, I've said to the theme between uh, Corin and Ness. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Animals I haven't quite heard in a uh, Mario Party game or Mario Kart. I would love well, to, but, you guys you know. have me listen closely to what the freaking... Uh, well, that's what Bullet Bill or whatever says. Ah, is that what he's been doing all along? Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know we, how how we're gonna do this. We'll go to ten. Why not? Okay, um, let's go. Okay, are you ready? First one coming your way right now. Yes. A silent location. A quiet place. A Mario. A quiet place. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> okay. <Fuck> you. <laughs> Corin almost forgot the buzzer, but he did get the answer, and he then even had time to get his his little buzzer in there. So that's all good. That's one point to Corin. There we go. He knows his Corin knows his spooky stuff. So I will. I feel like he's got the edge on this. Um. Here we go. That pursues. It follows. Where? Where? It follows. <laughs> you guys gonna do the buzzer so? First, otherwise you'll lose. And I I'm get just waiting for a kookalak to jump in. <laughs> I'm getting all the. I got two points because you guys didn't buzz first, so I get the points. No, I mean, nice. technically, they said the answer, then buzzed. <laughs> the answer. So they, you could have buzzed any time when they yeah. said the answer. Yeah, I would have yeah, accepted yeah. it, yeah. but no one has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, once you buzz, the floor is yours. So yeah, be quick on the buzz. You don't have to be as quick on the answer. Yeah. Exactly. So you're okay. Here you go. Uh, number three. Four weeks after. Mario. Uh, Ooh. 28 days later. Hey, that's the one. That's the one. Riveting game this is. Uh, next one. Drill. Kukalak. Kukalak. 
What did you say? Saw. Saw. Okay. Yeah, it's saw or saw, depending on where you're from. <laughs> it was saw. We got it. Next one. Shriek. That's it. Scream. Hey, <laughs> there we go. That's a very easy one there. You can tell that. I had about three of these prepared, and now I'm literally <laughs> just on Google, quickly just looking at them and matching them up as we go along. <laughs> uh, here you go. Um, <clears throat> here's the next one. <laughs> the Choir of the Goats. Go to the Lambs. of the Lambs. I think that's oh, a point for, like, everybody. First. I think it's a point for, like, everyone. This that was like a does not work well with a second and a half delay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not really. Bacon's oh, just, just do... getting... <laughs> oh. It was great. That one was on point. Um, yeah, fuck it. You all get that. Why not, eh? Go <laughs> it was the science of the land. <laughs> it was the science of the land. <laughs> um, uh, oh, God. How would I do this? Uh, okay. Here's the next one. A dream on Oak Road. Kokalak! Oh, yes, it heard of Kokalak there. Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. Hey, man will pull the head. I think. No, don't want it. Don't want to dream no more. Don't want to fall asleep because he misses you, baby. You don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> next one <laughs> Underworld Lifter. What? Ah. what? Hellraiser. Yay! What, what the, the hell is that one? Your what accent's indecipherable hell? sometimes. Underworld? What the hell? There's Lifter. already a movie series called Underworld. I, I thought you said Grifter, and I couldn't figure out the fuck you meant. <laughs> Hellraiser. Although Underworld a guy who Lifter. goes into hell to just scam people. That'd be a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the Underworld Lifter. Underworld Grifter sounds like a great, like, London-esque thing on the on Netflix. I'd watch it. It's just a heist movie where you're robbing Satan. God, that sounds so fucking cool, though! That Don't sounds awesome! That. Make that movie right now, you freaking just I burglarize that. the shit out of Satan. That'd be great. Yeah, Hell's, um, Hell's heist movie? That'd be sick. I'd yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just, like... I don't know how many we've done. We'll do to, another... Like, steal shit. Satan. We'll do another couple. Here we go. Uh oh shit! How would you do this? Um, dusk of the of the breathing corpse. <laughs> Kukalak. Night, Kukalak. Night, night of the living dead. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> dusk. Did you say dusk of the living corpse? I said I meant to say breathing. Did I say breathing? Or? I don't remember. But also, you dusk said... isn't night, so. Uh, it's, it, we're reaching at the moment. It's Evening. Fun. Close enough. Um, breathing. Oh god, yeah. Shall we do? We'll do a final one then. We'll do what, a final. What's one. the point set? So, Corin, you're at three. Manuel, you're at four. And there, for some reason, you're on four as well. I'm okay, so sure I, need, I need to pick up a point to tie. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Last one. The straw lad. Cool Mario. Oh, I got it. Kukulak. Yeah, I think I don't the know. The Wicker was... Man. All right, we'll give us the Manimal. opening uh, song of Iron Maiden's Brave New World. We've got Wicker Man. Yeah, no, right. you're right. So I got to do a hoedown, huh? Hand yeah, of, hand I mean, of don't feet. Don't we all still? Hand no. of yeah, we all still need to because there's only four of us. As so we all need to. Finger points to you. <laughs> yeah, so we all need to do a hoedown. Your time yeah. will come. My favorite was the episode 100 one. That's the last time we did one, because it's when Manimal Jeez. just busted out without Castro. <laughs> so, uh, Manimal, you are the winner, so therefore you can decide, uh, Summer. You can decide what the theme is. I mean, it's got to be Halloween, right? Yeah, but it could be anything, you know, vampires, steaks, uh, cat girls, zombies, S zombie Sonic. <laughs> Yeah, my theme of the hoedown is the smell of the skeleton masks from the old oh, Halloween car. Fuck's Fuck sake. A little Five. specific. We waited five, ten minutes for this. You widen the search parameters, please. 
Sh- no, no, we're going for it. Oh the smell my God. of Halloween masks. No, sorry, the smell of... What was it? The smell of skull masks. He's gone again. He's gone again. Why are we listening to him? Why are we taking orders from this madman? There's no hoedown. It's been cancelled. But it's been... It's Halloween. I hope you've tucked into your candy. I hope you've been out and scared some folks, but, you know, not too badly that they shit themselves, which is what we promised to do. Hopefully we haven't done that either, because it sounds like a massive mess. But do you guys have any parting shots for people before we leave? Uh, no, just stay tuned for one last poem to take us out before we have Spooky Chuny Chronicles. Oh. Yeah, if we can even freaking get there. We're going to get there. We've got enough gas to get there. Don't worry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared and confused. Well, let's get there now. Okay, thanks for listening, everyone. Enjoy the poems and the Chuny Chronicles and the hoedown and then the outro song. What are we going out on, Manimal? We're going out on my song, Sonder Sa- Son- Bar. It's Sonder a spooky. Sonderbar is a spooky song on my album, The Natural Order. Not a great album. Not a good follow-up to Post America at all. But I'm happy with this song. I'm <laughs> happy with this song, so that's okay. And it's a little spooky, so it fits. It's the season. It's a better spooky song than last year's Don't Die, so it'll fit perfectly at the end of this episode. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, um... Yeah, no, that's that's great. We'll have that. So enjoy all that, guys. Thanks for listening, everybody. Happy Halloween. And until next time, enjoy um, this spooktacular treat. Happy Halloween. It's late and we are sleepy. The air is cold and still. Our jack-o'-lantern grins at us upon the windowsill. We're stuffed with cake and candy, and we've had a lot of fun. But now it's time to go to bed and dream of all we've done. We'll dream of ghosts and goblins and of witches that we've seen. And we'll dream of trick-or-treating on this happy Halloween. The Chuny Chronicles continues. Dirt and flowers. No flowers without dirt. Only the greens raise the flowers. More grains than flowers. Life may shine, but only in the image of the flowers. For dirt is a filthy word, a disgusting term used to turn around the eyes. The Chuni knows this, realizing she is merely dirt that raises the flowers. For without the ugly without the grains of filth there can be no beauty upon which to judge that of the slime of the earth the grains of salt and sand and filthy dirt that ride the plains of this planet Ever looming, the beauty is. The Chuni cannot find this beauty. Merely another piece of dirt lying on the floor. It's the time of the season. The Chuni knows this as she wanders home in a haze, not knowing which day it truly is. The Chuni wanders in the fall park as the leaves turn orange and her world turns gray. No color remaining, merely dirt. The Chuni knows this.